Welcome to another new video. Hopefully you find this informative. Some people have asked about the Surge filter that I've installed and want to know about how it's running, how well is it running, is it a good thing to use and what sort of price point is it. So first of all, it, it's, it's priced at £300 which seems a lot of money and it is. However, it has a benefit of including the UV unit. So if you need to purchase an additional UV, you're probably talking another £100. So when you start factoring that into your costs, it isn't that bad. So I want to do another video to give you a breakdown of how it's installed, how it's running, how it's operating, what sort of pitfalls can you have with it. Um, the only negativity I can say I've had really is I've had the odd leak here and there. Um, so you may want to use a bit of PTFE tape to sort those problems out. Um, and I just wanted to give you a demonstration video on how it's set up, how it works and hopefully this will be informative. So without a further ado, let me show, the, show you the system. Hopefully you found it interesting. Just before you uh, uh, go, ladies and gentlemen, after you finish the video, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would appreciate it. We're almost at that 1000 subscriber count. It would be really nice if we could hit that. Um, at the very least, before you go, like the video, please. Anyway, without further ado, let's look at the filter, the system, and hopefully you find this interesting. So, this is the Surge setup that we've installed. So basically, here, just below uh, where I'm pointing to, is the pump, and it pushes water along here and up to a T. Now that is split into two. So, we have water going up into this ball valve and this flexi hose, and into a different filter that I've got. I'll show you a picture of that but uh, that's where we've got it splitting too. Obviously this is uh, the T that sends the water into the surge. So basically the water runs along here and we have a ball valve. These are the ball valves that are supplied with the surge. Um, I have found them temperamental in terms of leaking so I do recommend PTFE tape um, so that's something I had to do. Um, so basically I've got a, a, an adapter here supplied by uh, Japanese water gardens in Nottingham um, and basically th this goes from 1.5 inch um, pressure pipe to an adapter of 1 inch screwed into the actual um, ball valve and then it runs into the surge and obviously the water rises up through some K1 media, through a UV unit, a very small one, it's only about that long, and then through uh, the wall, through this outlet here, another ball valve, and then I have attached an adapter that I got hold of from China, which is clear pipe adapter, one inch screw, um, and then I've got some UK pipe um, from the pipeshop.com. Uh, which is clear pipe, one inch clear pipe into these fittings, this, this elbow and then it, it runs through a pipe here and then runs into a filter that we've got below that you can't actually see in the shot but I'll put a picture up so you can see. Um, so essentially that's how it works. Um, so looking further down, here we have a, a waste assembly outlet here. Basically we have, a, I think it's a, a BSP uh, fitting which is an elbow um, which screws into this uh, waste assembly unit which is basically a ball valve and and it screws into the bottom of the surge which has a, a, a rubber gasket um, and then we've got these brackets here a metal bracket there a metal bracket at the top to hold it in place and and then the water just basically filters through the K1 media um, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like so you can see the internals and then rises through pass through the um, UV now you need to be careful on the water volume that you put through this so I'm running a Evolution Aqua 10,000 litre per hour pump but I'm running at 1% which is 1,000 litres now this unit will run at 2,500 litres per hour that's its recommended uh, water volume you should put through it uh, you can run up to three and a half thousand litres per hour but it's highly recommended that you don't go above that because I have noticed that the waste assembly that has um, an air inlet with a one-way valve 
if you put too much force through there that will start to leak so be very mindful that you don't put too much water pressure through the system now I have comp contacted Evolution Aqua because um, I've got a bit of a leak on this um, waste assembly outlet waiting for a response from the technical team but I just want to discuss that uh, um, obviously it comes with a, a bit of um, um, piping here um, it's just flexi hose it's nothing special uh, PVC um, and you can just empty that into a bucket um, when you want to empty it then all you have to do is open that and it lets all the muck come out into a bucket that you can throw away or use on your plants because that will be very very valuable um, and that's essentially what you do when you clean this so if you're going to clean this you turn your filter off sorry your pump off and then you open your outlet and it lets the water out and then once that's emptied um, you close it again and you let your pump refill it again refill and then continue um, you may experience a bit of air in the system for a little while um, but just give that a bit of time so that's essentially how the surge works it's very easy uh, to work normally it comes with horse tails um, that you can use with flexi pipe my preference is to use um, a solid pipe because it's more durable so all you have to do is get an adapter now if you do get the surge or you do get a tempest and you do want an adapter to fit solid pipe I will put a link in the description box for Japanese water gardens where they supply this this basically you get a, a screw in adapter you get a, a piece of one inch pipe um, and then you get a union that would go onto your one, one and a half inch pressure pipe um, I believe you can get a similar sort of setup for waste pipe as well so essentially that is how this works so let me just reiterate how I've got the setup so basically we have um, a pressure pipe here that runs from the pump I'll show you a picture of it, of it further back so you can see that um, it runs along up here into the um, T now some of the water goes off to the surge and some of the water runs up to this ball valve into this um, um, rubber boot into a one-way valve um, into this flexi hose into another filter so I've split um, the flow at the moment so we've got um, basically um, 500 litres per hour going through this and the same going through the other bowl filter that I've built so essentially what I've hap what's going on at the moment with the surge the surge sends the water up through the actual um, um, clear pipe that I've got here and runs down into a pipe that runs into the uh, the filter the box filter that I've created um, I'll show you a picture of that so you can see that as well so that's essentially how the surge unit works it's 300 pounds it's not a cheap unit um, so essentially this is the surge filtration system in operation um, and hopefully you found that informative um, let me know in the comments what you think it's um, an expensive product don't get me wrong 300 pound but it will filter ponds up to 5,000 litres um, anything above that you may want to consider using the um, Tempest the Tempest runs at 7,500 litres per hour um, so you can put more volume through it um, so you, basically you can have a pond of about seven and a half thousand litres that's um, 7,500 litres approximately um, in the Tempest um, and obviously you can have multiple surges multiple Tempests if you want to split split it and uh, filter a bigger pond but I just wanted to demonstrate my setup so that you get an idea of how it works um, one thing to keep in mind the power brick for the actual surge I had to do a bit of rewiring because it's not very long on one side uh, so if you want to relocate it you may want to do a bit of soldering and wiring just to move it and make the cable a bit longer that's the only modification I had to do to the power brick 
I will show you a, a video of me doing that now um, and thank you for watching. Hello everyone, I thought I'd just do a quick video on the Surge brick unit. It's quite a complicated piece of kit and if you need to put this somewhere it's a bit limiting. Um, the main issue I can see is this um, piece of cable here for a plug. It's incredibly short um, and if you want to position this in say a box like I have uh, for your electrics you haven't got much cabling and if you need to slot this through uh, a hole so you can keep all your cabling neat and tidy let's say through a piece of wood um, this is too thick to slot through so you need to try and disassemble this so it comes in various lengths of pieces of cable so this is the UV unit here um, which runs through there so in terms of wiring and how it works it's uh, blue to blue neutral to neutral and brown to white which is going to be the live unit for this power uh, unit so um, what you need to do is disassemble the uh, blue the uh, neutral and the brown um, take it off and slide it through and then rewire it um, I suspect you'll have to solder it or something like that which isn't a big deal we can do that uh, it's just extra work that's the only thing with that I just wanted to demonstrate the uh, issue you could have potentially um, with a unit like this um, I just wish Evolution Aqua included a much longer cable for the actual plug part of it it's a bit on the short side so guys i've taken off um the the brown off the white and i'm just removing the neutral to neutral and the blue to blue and then we'll be able to free up this cable then slot it through uh, the the uh, wiring box and then re-solder it all so if you're interested and you want to know how to disassemble the UV uh, power box so you can slot cables into other places um, basically you just need to remember that the main cable to you, the UV is blue to blue, neutral to neutral and brown to white not white cable is this one here um, so essentially that if that's any help to you guys regarding rewiring the surge bo um, UV box hopefully this is helpful so I've just taken this the solder off using one of those soldering irons now you could potentially reuse the existing sol solder it's actually already on there just heat it up and reattach um, it's that simple really um, it's quite fun doing stuff like this sometimes bit of a balzic if you don't want to do it but there you go next step will be to reattach some of these uh, plastic um, sleeves that goes over the uh, solder um, and the uh, wire just to give it a bit of extra protection right so I've just rejoined the various connections so we've got blue to blue which is there neutral to neutral there and obviously the earth live goes to that white one so we've redone these um, so let's put it back together right I've just put the UV back together it's quite easy there's some screws on the back that allow you to do so um, and you have to put a new plug on uh, because it's quite frustrating that new products uh, you know relating to ponds do not come with supplied plugs so you need to put a new one on and we've put that back together so in conclusion um there are a few things that could be improved with the surge filler such as um some extra rubber washers on the ball valves um when you're tightening them uh, sometimes water can leak underneath so uh, uh, like a, a rubber washer underneath um the the screw in would be helpful um, but apart from that it's not a bad unit um, I, 
in terms of conclusion of its effectiveness obviously you, you've seen um, a picture of the uh, box filter I can tell you that I haven't had to do any cleaning in that filter yet um, let me just get one of the brushes so let me just get one of the brushes out of the actual um, filter um, now there's a little bit of muck on there not a vast amount um, so obviously I would say it's quite an effective filter it's not 100% perfect you will get things slipping through the filter like any filter um, so it's a good first stage filter in, in my opinion um, coupled with an additional filter I don't think you can go wrong um, in terms of a filter on its own without any sort of other filtration um, I think some regu regular cleaning will certainly help the filter um, but it's not a bad system in terms of its capabilities but obviously you've got to remember it only can really do 5,000 litres um, in terms of pond volume size the uh, Tempest can do about 7,500 litres um, anything more than that you're going to be looking at getting um, EasyPod or a Nexus or building your own filter there are many different types of filters out there don't get um, bogged down to having needing to have a uh, an Evolution Aqua specialist filter many box filters that are far cheaper do the same thing and um, just require a bit more cleaning um, the advantage with the Evolution Aqua system is basically all you have to do is turn the ball valve, um, empty it and then you can fill it up again and start again without having to get your hands mucky. You don't have to pull out any sponges and wash them out. Um, but to me it's, it's, it's a mute point really. Uh, it's not a big deal to get your sponges out and clean them by hand. Um, Obviously, it's an extra step, and with the Evolution Aqua system, it's an extra step you don't really need to do. You're not getting your hands mucky. Um, but essentially, it's not a bad system. So it's up to you if you want to try it out. I'll put a link in the description box. If you want to go and purchase one, would appreciate it. Click on the link, It'll help the channel out if you do so. And thanks for watching, and have a nice day. <laughs>